Hi there, this is Joe Smith, your general manager, and we're here at the Club of Pelican Preserve. I'm here with some of our management team. And we just wanted to provide you with a, an update on the last two months at the club because uh, we've had a very exciting, very active November, December. Uh, we started off November with our uh, member grand reopening and welcome back party. We had uh, about 500 members uh, enjoying the new facility of the club. Um, and we finished up the month with our Thanksgiving buffet, which was open to the entire community. Again, almost 500 people through, uh, through the clubhouse on Thanksgiving Day. The general feedback we've received already has been very positive. Um, Chris has been really busy in our membership department welcoming new members of the club. Yes. Uh, so Chris, why don't you tell us about the last few months? You're right, I have been really busy. I've been touring people through our new clubhouse nearly every day, both residents who are interested in joining the club as well as uh, non-residents that are looking to move here and call Pelican Preserve their home. We've welcomed 30 new members in the last two months, 16 new social members. So if you haven't had a chance to come check out the new clubhouse, please give me a call, ask for Chris, and I will show you around the beautiful clubhouse and all that we have to offer here at the club. That's great. The, the energy in the club right now is, is really positive and welcoming all these new members, the, the social atmosphere has really grown. Um, Scott, why don't you tell us a little bit, I know food and beverage has been really busy the last two months and we have some changes planned uh, as we near the first of the year. Definitely, Joe, yeah. 2017 uh, is coming up fast and we're real excited about the changes coming forward here at the club. Uh, 2016, November started off with a bang. Uh, grand reopening, tunnels of towers, Thanksgiving, like Joe mentioned, big numbers, more people through the club than we've ever seen. Dinner services up in the dining room have been, uh, we've had more people coming in for dinner than ever before. Uh, 2017, we add on our wind up Wednesdays, every Wednesday night, which is gonna be kind of a happy hour uh, type event with entertainment, half price drinks, a la carte bar menu. Uh, Thursday night dinner services start back up again and then we'll continue with Friday nights. A lot of uh, exciting member events coming up. Uh, starting in 2017, finishing up 2016. Lunches both in the dining room upstairs and the cafe downstairs continue to be busy. Uh, a lot of excitement throughout the club, so we're looking to carry that on to 2017, Jim. That's gonna be great. You know, we're also focused on building uh, not just food and beverage social uh, opportunities at the club, but also just general socializing. Uh, we've got some yoga classes beginning after the first of the year, and Joey's uh, coordinating some uh, just educational type seminars. Uh, we're going to have some uh, card playing opportunities at the club. So the, the social program at the club for next year is really going to be a robust program. So uh, we're looking forward to that. Um, equally as exciting, we opened up uh, Heron. As of November 1, I know everybody was really excited to get out there and, and play golf. Um, and we also went private, both at the clubhouse and the golf course. So um, golf rounds are a little bit uh, down year over year, but, but member activity is up. Yes. Um, and the feedback on the golf course has been uh, real positive. Uh, the, the golf course is uh, absolutely best I've seen it in years. Kudos to Jim and his staff. Uh, as, you, as everybody's saying, the, the events are up, so that means golf events are going to be up, the numbers are up. Uh, an example, our men's member guest has filled up in two days. Um, so just a reminder for those playing any LGA events uh, or MGA events, please sign up as soon as you can. Make sure you get in because they are filling fast. Uh, just a couple of reminders coming up. Um, even though Joe did mention that we are not taking public play, please don't fall into uh, this misnomer that all tee times are just so easy to get. You still need to put in your request with Chelsea because we still have a lot of member play. Just a couple reminders on uh, Chelsea, a request is 11 to 30 days in advance. A booking is 10 days or less. Uh, a lot of people get those two mixed up. You know, we get a lot of phone calls on that. We're glad to help you out on that. Uh, but yes, uh, everything is up, play is up uh, for members and member participation. Uh, one suggestion we want to make on the Chelsea tea time system, uh, or two actually, I'm sorry. Uh, we, we made an adjustment that you, you cannot adjust any tea times you have after four o'clock the night before. Uh, this allows us to transfer the tea sheet and have everything ready for everybody in the morning. Secondly, a challenge that we have right now is when members fill out a request, they put 
Joe Smith member guess, 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 not knowing who they're playing with. We gotta ask that you put in names. If it's members, put in the members' names. If it's guests, then you know who your guests are, write their names in there. All you gotta do is click and drag, type their names in there. So it makes it easier for every frontline person from the golf shop, the bag drop, and the starter to know who your guests are. And when they show up, we can uh, direct them to the right places. Uh, we do have a demo day coming up on January 23rd from Cobra. And uh, the last thing probably is the cart inspection uh, with Castle Management and the golf. Nothing's changed, so when you guys bring the forms, nothing's changed. It's the same way we've been doing it for 10 years. Show proof of insurance. We'll be doing that up at the town center January 9th, 10th, and 11th. I know there's more information on that coming, but we're real excited about this coming year, and uh, the golf course is just getting better by the day, Joe. Great, great. Well, we've got some exciting capital projects planned for 2017 also, um, and we'll provide further updates to the community and the membership as we uh, get into the first quarter of 2017. And in closing, uh, hope everybody had a really uh, great uh, and healthy holiday season. Um, if you're not a member of the club, we look forward to welcoming you as a member sometime in 2017. Uh, and if you are a member, uh, we're happy to have you here. Uh, it's going to be a great year. Thanks again. Happy New Year.